For those of you who don't know, I'm Maggie, and I'm really excited to be back filming, and today we're talking about all of my favorites from the month of April. And I took kind of an unintentional two-week-ish break from YouTube because things at work have just been really crazy. If you didn't know, if you're not already subscribed to my newsletter, I did get a new job, but I'm still at the same company. And so the transition has been a lot longer than it would be had I moved to like an external role. But I feel like at times I'm balancing two and three different jobs and it's just been a lot. So what I have to do to manage my stress levels and to be sure that I'm still like a good, healthy, human who interacts with my family during my downtime, um, things might just be a little spotty for a little while and that's okay because this is just a hobby for me. So anyway, let's dive into the fun stuff. No more complaining. So the first item that I wanted to share with you is actually one that I meant to mention last month, but it was like sitting on my dresser and got left off irrelevant, but we have a Pura. And if you're not exactly sure what that is, if you saw my January favorites, same device. It's like a smart home diffuser where you buy these specific scents and they typically come from like normal candle brands. Like you can get them from Capri Blue, which does the famous volcano candle. You can get scents from Nest. You can get scents from, I don't know, famous candle brands. <laughs> and they have a collection right now called the Disney Princess Collection. And I ended up going with the Ariel scent. And let me see if it has the actual fragrance notes on here. All right, I had to look up the notes of this. This is called Ariel Sea Breeze, described as a citrusy floral scent made with sparkling bergamot and water lily, combined with dragon fruit, ship wood, and mineral musk. Ship wood? Is that a specific type of wood I don't know about? Or are they trying to be like, wood from a ship. I have no idea. But this smells so good. But I truly love anything that mentions bergamot. I'm probably going to like that scent. I'm very, very drawn to it. And I love that this was also described as citrusy because I oftentimes love those scents too. But I would say when you combine everything together, the citrusy, the floral, the bergamot, the water lily, it ends up being this ultra fresh scent. I don't know another way to describe it. I think it's really well rounded and it just is a good like cleansing scent. That's probably not the right word for it, but we have our diffuser in our kitchen and you can set it on a specific timer. So you could have schedules for each scent to come on and you can diffuse them at different hours throughout the day. So you don't even have to think about it. Just all of a sudden you'll get this sudden burst of great smell. But another thing that I've learned since having a Pura is that I'm a little bit sensitive to scents. So I went through this one phase where we had this specific scent. It was the Nest Amalfi Limited Mint, which I think smells amazing, but I was having the weirdest reaction in like my salivary glands. It was so strange. Every time it would come on, it would like feel like a metallic taste in my mouth. And I don't know another way to describe that. So very sad. It's a very popular scent from them and I'm sad that I can't diffuse it, but this one I have no issues with. So if you're sensitive like me, I don't know if that matters or if you've ever experienced that before, just FYI, but this smells great. And the individual scent itself retails for $14, but if you have a Pura, I highly recommend always just checking out as if it's a subscription because you can like skip the subscription however often you want. And it knocks the prices of every single scent down on their website. So if you subscribe to this scent and you can skip it whenever again, it actually only costs $9.80 instead of 14. So you get scents at a much better price if you just play the subscription game. So as long as you're good about like switching things on the app, you'll be fine. You're not gonna overpay because they always remind you when you have an upcoming shipment. So I understand not everybody has a Pura. I did wanna also mention a more traditional scent for the home, and this comes from Rifle Paper Company. And I know that this is gonna sound very similar to the Amalfi Limited Mint that I just talked about, but this is their scent called Amalfi Del Mar. Ugh. It smells so good, but it is not as um, tangy. Like it doesn't have like the sharpness that the Amalfi Lemon and Mint has. Describing scents on the internet is really tough for me. So I actually got like a sampler set from Rifle Paper Company of their five votive candles. So I got to try out all the scents and then Brian kind of sneakily figured out which one was my favorite and then ended up getting me this full size one for Christmas. Now I burn it very sparingly. We're about halfway down, but these are 100% soy candles. And this specific scent, let me read it to you. Amalfi Del Mar is a blend of lemon, soothing eucalyptus, and the fresh scent of the sea rolling in underneath the cliffside villages along the famous Italian coast. So if you've ever been there, that's what it smells like, I suppose. This is nine and a half ounces. It's a very generous size, and this retails for $36. So when comparing this and the overall burn time, which they estimate at 40 plus hours, you're actually paying a lot less with Pura scents 
because they get way more than 40 hours of burn time. Cost wise, this is beautiful and it still gives you that candle ambiance. And right now they don't sell this scent specifically on a Pura. So there's a give and a take there. But aside from the comparison with the Pura, this is just a great candle in general. So if you like lemony, bright, fresh scents, I think that you would really, really be into this one. Okay. We're running in the opposite direction. The next item has nothing to do with home fragrance, but it does have to do with Rifle Paper Company. So I figured while we were still talking about it, I have loved their stuff for years. In fact, I think one of my very first YouTube videos was a Rifle Paper Company review, like my favorite products from them. And I still buy their stuff to this day. Their planners have my ideal layout. On one side, it has notes and to-dos, and it also has these great little check boxes. And then on the other side, you have one page that's split into five days. So I'll typically write down the calls that I have that day or different random tasks that I need to do and check off. And then I have like running reminders that kind of go on this side, or if I can't fit them in the little box, they'll go on this side too. But I just love the ample writing space. I like that this is an entire year's worth and it's still really thin and compact because my travel for work has picked up a little bit. And so I always like to throw this in there and I love that it's not taking up a ton of space. So this is my work planner and it's the weekly setup. But for YouTube purposes and like other side hobbies for my website, things like that, I prefer to use a monthly planner because I'm oftentimes planning out like a month's worth of content. So I have like my Sunday summaries that go out for the newsletter every Sunday. I'm able to say when I want to like film videos, edit videos, post videos. If I have a contract with a company, it kind of keeps me on track. So I really, really love this kind of like monthly planner layout. And obviously because it has much fewer pages, it's also very thin. But then, <laughs> because I'm kind of old school, even when I'm at work and I have a laptop in front of me, I feel like I am really prone to multitasking. So if I like open another tab to take notes and I'm on a video call, I find myself like clicking into other tabs and I just get a little bit distracted. So instead, I prefer to have a notebook. And so this was a pack of three. This is their Marguerite print, which is their newest and my favorite, honestly, of all of them. And I love that it has the same print with three different backgrounds. So you can see this one has a pink background. This one has kind of like a charcoal-y color, and then this one has white. So I have a different notebook for random notes for all the different facets of my life. This black notebook right here is all for YouTube and website updates. And then the pink background is what I'm using for work right now. Anyway, if you're like me and you like to hand write things, or maybe you like to just have a notebook where you put all your grocery list or something like that, I think these are great. I feel like as a college student, I would have hated these. I liked writing on notebook paper that I could like reorder in my binder. Do you know what I mean? So I never really went with bound notebooks, but in my adult life, love a good bound notebook. They're thin. You could use these as little travel journals if you wanted to. And I think this wrapped up with that candle or something would just make a really pretty, cute, useful gift. All right, and while we're talking about pretty things, I have to tell you about this lipstick that I'm wearing because as you'll notice, it's not overly glossy, so I didn't use my favorite like Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip that I have been loving. But these are actually the Merit lipsticks. And the one that I'm wearing today is in Millennial. And I legitimately think, you know, when people say like, it's the your lips, but better look, this is it for me. Like this is the color of my lips just enhanced a little bit. The formula on these lipsticks is insane. Like it looks like a beautiful, normal little bullet tube lipstick, but it goes on so like easy and thin thin and I think that's what I love about it because I really hate thick lipstick where I feel like I have to blot it on a piece of paper or I have to like move my finger around so that I know it doesn't get all over my teeth because that's kind of embarrassing. I feel like I can put this on with no mirror whatsoever and these are called the signature lip lipsticks <laughs> and I have this one also in the shade baby and I will say this one the name is really appropriate to me because it kind of reminds me of like a 90s, like super neutral vibe. I Let me just swatch the other one so that you can compare the two side by side. These look really similar on my hand, but this one right here, this top one is baby. And you can see how it has like browner, more neutral undertones. And then this one down here is millennial, which is more of a like um, peachy pink, peachy red pink. And that's what I have on today. These are so comfortable. Ever since I got these, these have been living in my purse just constantly because I love that they're super easy to throw on. I'm bad about reapplying lipsticks. Like I'll put it on to leave the house and never do it again. And that's because I feel like it's a hassle. Like I have to go find a mirror. 
not with this. So Merit did send me these and I feel like this was just such an honor, like such a treat because these are so luxurious. Like they feel so nice and high quality and I just don't really invest in any lip care. And so this is one of those things that I can definitely see myself repurchasing and maybe a more like fun shade, like maybe a little brighter shade or maybe even one that's a little deeper because it's so easy to wear. So colors that I'm usually intimidated by, I feel like I wouldn't necessarily be in this formula, if that makes sense. So really can't recommend these enough. Y'all know I've been a fan of Merit since last summer when I first tried their products. I've talked about their blush probably the most and I actually wanna talk about that again in this video because I got a new shade. But first, just in case you had already tried like these products from them, I got the shade Marrakech like last summer. This is good, but I really prefer this shade Pink Beat a lot better. The difference though is that I really prefer the formula of these signature lip lipsticks than I do over these, what are these called? tinted lip oils. I feel like the staying power on the signature lip is so much better and these are a little bit more finicky to apply. I feel like I have to pay special attention to how much product is on the actual um, like little sponge tip applicator. What do we call these? You know, like every lip gloss has. It's much easier to apply the lipsticks. Like these sometimes can get a little bold around the edges and I feel like I have to touch it up. While I like these shades and I like the overall like idea behind this, I prefer these signature lips for the staying power in the formula and the ease overall. But blush, y'all know this has been my favorite product from them for a really long time. So the first blush that I ever had was Beverly Hills. It's this beautiful, like springy, pinky, this is the perfect time of year for it kind of shade. And I did love it. The thing is, is that I felt like I had to use a lot of the product to really get it to show up. But for a cream blush, the staying power on these things, I have zero complaints. I love this stuff. So I was excited to kind of explore their other colors and ended up picking out the color Cheeky, which is a little bit deeper. At first I was like, Whoop, when I saw it in person, cause I ended up ordering this online and I was like, maybe this is a little adventurous, but it's what I have on today. And I feel like it just looks really nice. It looks healthy. I feel like it looks kind of glowy. Now granted, I do also have their highlighting stick too, which I think is fantastic on top of it. So it's not just the blush doing all of this, you know, glow, but I love, 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 love this cheeky shade and feel like it's kind of edging out Beverly Hills for me. All in all, the formula is still the same. I love it. And I was so sad because y'all know, Jessica Braun is one of my favorite YouTubers and she didn't love this blush. And I was like, this I think is the first thing we've ever disagreed on because I have been adamant about these for a year now. Like you've probably seen these blushes in multiple favorites videos at this point and for good reason. Now, one thing that I will challenge her on a little bit is that I use the Merit brush with this blush. So I basically like open it up, tap it on the cheeks wherever I want it. And then I take the blush <laughs> it's hard to say brush and blush. Then I take the brush and kind of blend it out to where it looks really seamless and it kind of just blends into the skin nicely. And she uses her finger. So I think that the different application methods do make a difference. So I would get a really dense brush to help you blend it out. And I think you'll find that you would love it as much as I do, but really love this stuff. And these are the perfect little travel blushes. All right, allergy season is here in full force and it is rearing its ugly head. I have really, really struggled. I've had headaches. I've had just like sneezing attacks. I've had my eyes be so itchy to the point where I had to like remove my contacts and like splash water in them. It's just a really bad pollen season for me. And so these, have been helping a ton. Now I had tried shower steamers that I'd gotten in a subscription box a, a long time ago and I'd never thought about repurchasing them because they just felt like extra. But these I feel like are really functional because these are Vicks Vapo shower like little tablets. It has that really good like menthol open up the sinus cavities kind of scent and you put it in the bottom of your shower and it creates this like Vicks steam shower. And I swear it makes a difference. Brian and I have been flying through these because they work. It says that this has 10% more soothing vapors and it infuses with your shower steam, dissolves cleanly. I can attest to that. There's no like residue or nastiness on your shower floor after you use them. This has 12 in the pack and I will say they were a little pricey. I think that this box was somewhere around the 15 to $20 mark. Got it on Amazon and each little tablet looks like this. So they're pretty thick and they last me about the exact length of my shower, which tends to be, I don't know, 
10 minutes or so, something along those lines. It dissolves really nicely. You can smell it through the package. I'm somebody weird who like, I will use Vicks Vapor Rub, like the actual cream, even when I don't need it because I just love the smell of it. I think it's really calming. It like brings me back to a good time in my childhood. I don't know. So I really love these and these have been helping so much because I've been super like adamant about showering every single night because we go on multiple walks per day with our dog and I have like pollen in my hair and I just have really bad allergies. So I have to take extra steps and this is one of those extra steps that I'm willing to pay for because it has really really been a good relief for all of my sinuses during this crazy. It's kind of funny how all the items shook out in this video because I had multiple from Rifle that I've been loving. I had multiple from Merit that I've been loving. And then I also have multiple from Parachute. So look out. I don't know how that happened, but I had to give a special shout out to these little slipper booties. Something you should know about me. I am very picky about slippers and my slippers last me forever because if you didn't know, putting your little sweaty feet into slippers is gonna make them wear down a lot quicker. It's gonna make them get nastier, faster. And so a big trick with your slippers if you want them to last longer is to just wear them with socks. I feel like it keeps the insides of them much cleaner. Your feet don't sweat as much and I know that may seem counterintuitive but they legitimately don't and you're allowed to wear your slippers for a lot longer when they're not as grimy and disgusting so I prefer the booty style slipper I've had a pair from Land's Inn for legitimately eight plus years and they're really worn down at this point as far as the cushion goes for my birthday Brian was like you need some new slippers like it you've had almost a decade with those it's time and so he found these they're waffle style and I want to say disappointingly that they're talking about discontinuing these or maybe just the color, but these are on sale right now for like $44. They are so comfortable. You can see on the inside, they have this really cushy bottom. It's not memory foam, but it is like a thicker foam, if that makes sense. On the bottom here, you have like really good rubbery tread. I just love how fluffy and cushy they are. And then they also have these exact same style. If you just like the tall booty, but you're not a fan of the waffle, in like a fleece version. But that to me felt like it was gonna wear out quicker for whatever reason. I wear these all the time, even in the summer months. I know it's the spring, this is a weird thing to feature, but I don't have like warm weather and cool weather slippers, it's just all the same. So if you've been on the lookout for something that's a little bit different, I love these. And I also can't fail to mention my wonderful little, I think this is called the cotton cloud robe. Now, what's funny is I got this for Brian for his birthday two years ago, the year I had knee surgery. So what, 2020, ugh, the worst year ever. And he has his in green, and that boy has worn this robe nonstop, and it's still in great shape. So he ended up getting me the same robe for my birthday this year, and I can see why he wears it so often. I loved his color choice. It's kind of this like rosy, rusty color. I have mine in the size extra small, and I am 5'1", five, 5'1 one, five, one and a half for reference. And I would say this fits me perfectly and is still a little bit roomy. So I wouldn't say like size up because I think things would be getting like a little too oversized, but I love this robe. And it's not so thick. You know those big fleecy robes that you definitely wouldn't wanna wear in the summertime? This is not like that. This you can definitely wear year round in the mornings when your house is a little bit cooler. It's still super breathable. It's the softest cotton. I cannot, like I wish you could reach to the screen and feel this. It is so soft. It's very high quality, which means that it is a little bit more expensive than maybe you would typically spend on a robe, but maybe you have a friend that's having a baby and this is something for them that they wouldn't necessarily register for. Like how nice and cozy would it be for them to come home and put that robe on when they're home with their fresh baby and they're spending time with them and not sleeping, but they could be ultra cozy. I think that'd be really sweet. This is not a gift guide. I just like constantly think about giving gifts because I really like to do that. But that was not the longest list of favorites, but it was a mighty list. I feel like we talked about some really hard hitters and things that I've been loving this month. And as usual, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box down below. Please comment with other things that you've been loving in the month of April. I'm always looking to try new things. And if you haven't already subscribed to my newsletter, I'll be sure to link my website in the description box below too, so that you can stay up to date with me weekly since I've been a little bit spotty with the YouTube uploads with everything I have going on. So thanks for your patience. Thanks for sticking around. And if you like this video, then like it. Stick around, subscribe, join the community, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!